Zoho has a new browser called Ula. Now I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's spelled U-L-A-A. -A. It's its own browser. You can download it and then set up or pull in your bookmarks from your other browsers. The thing is, it's supposed to be a lot more secure. And so I've been using it for the last few weeks just to kind of test it out and see how it goes. I have no opposition to it. It has been great. Um, it does block a lot of things or a lot more than Chrome, for example. Um, but let me just give you a quick little run through so that you could see the options that are available within this browser. But before we get started, you can subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and then also we have a free community of Zoho users that you can join where you can get a lot more interaction with other Zoho users and get questions answered and things like that and that's at SuccessfulSolutions.com slash connect. <laughs> starting at the preferences and I just click here to go to those uh, preferences this is after it's been downloaded let's see if we can find that first here so let's go to uh, the search option okay this is it here so if you click on that you have the option to download it for Windows um, once you do this is what you get now you can change the theme uh, there are some options to do that and I'll show you, but let's just do a quick little run through of the preferences. So you have the ability to sync it. Um, if you choose to do that, you'll have to set up your passphrase. There's the profile. So there are different modes that you could set up. So if you like to um, toggle back and forth, you've got the incognito mode, which you probably should definitely have that one. Um, if you want to have one for work, one for personal, one for kids, however you want to do that. But you'll set up your different modes. And within those modes, you can, and let's just do this one, for example. Uh -oh. Okay, so I've enabled it. Now that I've enabled it, I can go see if I can find it again I'm still getting familiar we've got all these options here oh here and then I can switch from one to the other so if I click over to this personal um, then I'll see work and incognito as the other options to switch to all right so you've got the different modes here this is your profile you can go in and edit the picture if you'd like Again, these are the two that we have, work mode and then personal. You can add your URLs. There are kids mode preferences that you can also enable and set up. If you would like to be able to save your passwords, you can do that here. Now you know Zoho also has Zoho Vault where you can keep all of your passwords um, and share them with team members. But if you're using this for personal reasons and you'd like to you know, be able to save your passwords, you go to a website, you enter your credentials and you'd like to you know, have that option to save it right then, that's what this will do. Um, you've got this safety check where it can keep you safe from data breaches is what it says. If you would like to do that, you can do it. It looks like you could do it at any time. So you can always go in and do a safety check. Under privacy and security is where you'll see, okay, you've got standard, you've got extreme. It just depends on how secure you want things to be. Um, it automatically does the ad blocking and, you know, tracking and analytics blocking and so on, the malicious software. But then you can see here, there are some other options as well. You know, cookie blocking that I'm sure that could probably get a little frustrating after a while. So you may have to, you know, test that out and see if you would like to have that turned on um, it could be a lot but you've got the additional protection options here so this whole browser is priding itself on its ability to be more secure okay here's your browsing data uh, your browsing data so you can go in and see you know what it has been your history and so on turn that on You've got the appearance. This is where the themes are. Like you can change the theme. The theme I'm using right now is Mercedes. But um, you have the option to go to the web store and choose a theme. 
You can test them out, see if you like them. There are different collections that you can choose from. Um, so yeah, you can go in and play around with that. See if there's, you know, there are themes that you prefer. And then you've got some other options here on how big you want everything. If you want it with a bigger font, you can always change that. And then this is the search engine. This is where you can go in and, and choose which search engines you'd like to use. Uh, me personally, I just like to use Google. Um, so yeah, you can go in and turn on the one that you want to use. And then if there are additional ones um, you'd like to use, you can add those as well. So you can go here and add those search engines. And then if you would like to set it as your default browser. So if you're also using Chrome or you have Chrome, Firefox, or whatever else, uh, you can, you, you know, choose which browser you'd like to be your default. So you have the option to make this your default. And on startup, you know, what would you like to do? Uh, would you like to continue where you left off or, you know, open new tab, so on. And then this advanced section just goes into the languages, accessibility, and so on. And the extensions allows you to add Zoho Vault. So if I go to my browser, I've got the option here to log into my vault. So if I click on vault, that's the usual way of adding your master password into vault so that you can get in and see all of your passwords. So you can add that. See if I can go back to the settings. All right. And so, yeah, that is that. Um, let's just click on another theme so that you could see how that works. All right. So let's just choose one of these options. Let's do this one. Okay. So all you have to do is add to EULA. You can look at the theme here. This is what it will look like with the tabs. Okay, and then now it says it's added. And as you can see, everything changed. You know, my tabs or the background here changed to the new theme. All right, guys, so that is it. I mean, like I said, I'm not opposed to it. It's great. Um, I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. It is a lot more secure in my opinion. Um, but yeah, if you haven't downloaded it, I suggest you download it, check it out, see if you like it. Um, I'm not sure if there are any other advantages to using Zoho's browser as opposed to Chrome or Firefox because you would assume there will be some integrations or some things that are a little bit more easier and works with Zoho a lot easier, but I don't know of those things yet. Um, if those things do eventually, um, you know, are eventually added, then maybe we could explore it again together. But for now, it's another browser. It's just created by Zoho. All right, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, if there's anything you would like for me to test out for you, again, drop it in the comments. Let me know. And until next time.